Hi, Shanti again. Um, today I'm making a couple of videos to get through the About Me section, which is kind of the boring bit, right? You want to know what's working and all that sort of stuff. So I'm getting to that. Um, or at least I want to tell you about what's working because that's the exciting bit. Anyway, so uh, one of the other things that I've struggled with a lot is having eczema. So, um, my eczema is nowhere near as bad as like a lot of photos that I've seen on Google because of course, you know, uh, I'm one of those people that researches everything on Google and then thinks I have cancer of some sort, but um, I've, I've stopped that. I really try to stop that. <laughs> um, anyway, so eczema. Um, eczema has taught me a lot about the natural health space. So instead of having um, shampoo and conditioner with crap in it, I can basically only put things on my bot on my skin if I could eat it. So if it's all, got all natural ingredients, it might not taste great, but if you can eat it, like put it on your skin, it's not going to hurt you, then I can put it on my skin. Um, because basically whatever you put onto your skin gets absorbed into your body and if that's not going to, uh, if it's going to hurt your body then you don't want to put it on your skin, especially if you have eczema. Also um, anything I clean with has to be all natural, uh, which does narrow your options but also means you can make a lot of that stuff at home because basically um, for the most part it's like eucalyptus oil and vinegar. Um, but having eczema means that you need to moisturize every day. Um, I use Sunken because it's cheap. It's like 20 bucks a bottle and that lasts me about a month. Um, but I, f I get eczema in lots of random places. So when I'm overseas in Cambodia or you know Southeast Asia, um, it goes over my whole arm, uh, which actually can get really itchy and painful. Um, at the moment I have a concentrated area just there and that's really itchy. Um, I think that's more because of the change in weather. Uh, another thing that can cause it, well, it's basically a change in weather, heat, stress, uh, eating too much of one food, eating too much of citrus foods. Um, yeah, basically anything that my skin doesn't like. Uh, it'll show immediately pretty much. Um, uh, if you drink too much alcohol in one sitting, that can affect it. Also, if, if, uh, cause typically I don't drink that much, um, on a regular basis. So if I go for, um, a week of maybe I have a couple of drinks a night and then a big one on Saturday night, my skin shows it and it itches and it's terrible. Um, Another reason why I'm not really drinking much at the moment. Um, so yeah, having eczema has been a bit of a constraint in terms of what I can do. Uh, quite often if it's really hot and I'm trying to exercise a lot, then my eczema will flare up because obviously my skin's telling me I'm sick of sweating and um, it, it basically goes you know, either I'm going to aggravate you more <laughs> or you need to um, calm down your exercise. Basically, the sweat irritates the skin. Uh, also, um, during my I Quit Sugar Detox, uh, that has really uh, flared my skin up a bit because, you know, getting some stuff out of my system. Any kind of detox, uh, really. Um, yeah, so having eczema is obviously, like, not a death sentence for me or anything like that. It's more of an inconvenience. Sometimes it can get really painful, um, especially if I'm in Asia and there's a lot of MSG in the food and I'm not careful about the MSG in the food, um, that, that can get terrible, really, really bad. So, uh, but the plus side to having eczema is you get a lot more acquainted with natural health, uh, care, natural health care and, and natural health foods and, um, that's actually kind of the good side of eczema is, um, from a young age, my mum and I have had to, you know, try lots of different things and that has meant, um, going to health food shops more, which is always a plus. So yeah, just a quick one today about having eczema and what that's meant for me, um, on this journey. Okay. Bye.